Big Beauties. So today I will be sharing with you some quick and easy delicious side dishes that you can make for Thanksgiving or any other holiday party. First, we're going to make, be making the glazed squash. The ingredients you'll need are vegetable oil for baking sheets, three acorn squashes, about one and a half pounds each, coarse salt and ground pepper, half a cup of packed dark brown sugar. Before you begin, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Line the baking sheets with foil and brush with oil. Take the squash, cut it in half, and remove the seeds. Cut into one inch thick crescent shapes. Lay these on the baking sheets and season with salt and pepper. Sprinkle the brown sugar evenly on each side of the squash pieces. Put these in the oven and roast for about 20 minutes. These store overnight really easily so you can actually make them the night before and just heat them day of Thanksgiving. Next is another side dish, the green bean with vinaigrette. It's a new taste to a classic side dish and I love the tanginess of this dish. What you will need are green beans, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon of white wine vinegar, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of coarse salt, and a quarter teaspoon of ground pepper. Boil water on the stove. On the side, fill a large bowl with ice water. We will use this later. After trimming the stem ends, place the green beans in water. Cook for about 5 to 10 minutes. After that, put the beans into ice water. When they are cool, drain and pat dry with paper towels. In a separate bowl, whisk the oil, vinegar, mustard, salt, and pepper until thickened and completely mixed. If you want to make them the night before, just wait to add the dressing right until your event. Pour over beans and toss them to coat. And the last is an easy dessert. It's a twist on classic apple pie and really great with some vanilla ice cream. I actually gave this to my brother and he ate the entire thing. So, for this apple crisp you will need half a cup of pecans toasted and finely chopped, a third of a cup of plain fresh breadcrumbs, a quarter cup of sugar plus more for sprinkling, a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon plus more for dusting, six sheets of frozen phyllo dough, one stick of unsalted butter melted, three Granny Smith apples two gala apples. So first, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Combine the pecans, breadcrumbs, sugar, and cinnamon. Line a baking sheet with parchment or foil and top with one phyllo sheet. You can get these already made at any grocery store. It's super thin and flaky, so no worries if it breaks. You can layer it together similar to paper mache. Brush the dough with butter and sprinkle pecan mixture evenly. Add another layer of dough and repeat up to four times. Brush the top sheet with butter. Slice the apples about an eighth of an inch thick and discard the seeds. Arrange the slices in a single layer on the dough. Leave a bit of space between each piece from the edges. Brush the apple slices with two tablespoons of butter. Sprinkle with sugar and cinnamon. Then bake for about 28 to 32 minutes. Halfway, rotate the sheet. Now it is time to set the table. If you're looking for some DIY decorations, check out my most recent videos. I show you how some awesome and easy ways to make your own Thanksgiving decorations. And I've used a few here to spruce up the dinner table. So thank you all Perfect Beauties for watching. I hope you make some of these for your Thanksgiving and holiday dinners. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video if you wanna see more cooking tutorials. Talk to you guys later, bye. On every Tuesday, I cover a topic you want to know but are too afraid to ask, 